Hello and welcome to another GPO tutorial. In today's video, I want to show you how to set up your server for ATS2 or ATS. First, we'll need to go to the activate the in-game console. But before we do that, we have to change a few things. First, what you need to do is go to your documents and then select Euro Truck Simulator 2 or American Truck Simulator. Then go to config.cfg, right click and edit. I highly recommend Notepad++. For here, click Control F and type in G under slash developer. If you can't find it, make sure it's all in lower case. Next, change the zero to a one. I've already done this, it should look like this. Make sure it's line 107. Next, do the same for G under slash console and find next. This will be line 162. Change the zero to a one. Once done, click file and then hit save. Now load up your game, including your mods and everything else that you need to do and just click continue. Next, we need to set up a convoy. To set up a convoy, click on convoys, click on host convoy, give your session a name. Don't worry about description, password, or welcome message. We'll do that later. Click confirm. Once it's created, Now press the tilt key. It should open this menu at the bottom. Next, what you want to do is type in export all in under uh, under case under slash server under slash packages and hit enter. You should receive a message server packages exported successfully. Now again, please shut the game down. Once the game is shut down, go back to your documents and under Euro Truck Simulator 2 or American Truck Simulator, you should now see these two files. Now from the following, please pay close attention. Log into the G-Portal websites and go to My Servers. Scroll down to your Euro Truck Simulator 2 server or your American Truck Simulator server. Under this area here, under status, take note of the FTP information. Next, download an FTP client like FileZilla. Next, load up FileZilla or another FTP program and copy and paste the host name, the port, the username and the password. And hit quick connect. Once done, move the files into local, share Euro Truck Simulator 2 or American Truck Simulator 2. And we're just gonna copy them, paste them in here. To do that, we would go from here and just grab the two files and move them in there. Done. Once that is done, scroll down to server to uh, st uh, token Steam. This is um, another part. What we want to do then is open up the Steam server game account and make one of the following. For your truck simulator two, it would be 227300 and just enter that number here. Like so, and give it a note. For American truck simulator two, it'd be 270880 and then that'd be like ATS in there. And just hit create and you get this at the top. 
take this login token and put that right here under your server token. Thank you very much for watching another GPO tutorial. Have a nice day.